Excellencies, delegates, ladies and gentlemen, I'm speaking as chair of UN Nutrition, the United Nations Coordination Mechanism for Ensuring One UN for Nutrition. This means acting as one, speaking as one, and, and learning as one to improve diets and tackle malnutrition in all its form. Thank you for the opportunity to brief you about our work in 2023 and our plans moving forward. More detailed information is presented in the full report submitted to this committee. It was the United Nations Secretary General who said at the 2023 World Food Day, in our world of plenty, it is outrageous that a person dies of hunger every few seconds. And I would like to add that it is equally outrageous that many of the survivors have their health, livelihoods, and well-being compromised by malnutrition in one or more of its different forms. Eating a healthy diet from sustainable and resilient food systems is critical for addressing these issues while also contributing to planetary health. This is understanding is at the core of all UN Nutrition's work. In 2023, UN Nutrition member agencies stepped up their efforts as a collective force to support countries with coherent and harmonized policies, approaches, and positions for strengthened nutrition action. Underpinning country support, the agencies compri comprising UN Nutrition also deployed joint advocacy for nutrition action globally. We created space for country voices to be heard and influence global action. Such feedback loops between global and country processes improves the effectiveness of UN nutrition, as well as other stakeholders. In 2023, UN nutrition closely engaged in the UN Food Systems Summit follow-up processes, including the UN FSS Plus 2 stop taking moment uh, and as actively enabling several UNFSS coalitions for action. Furthermore, the agencies comprising UN Nutrition are fully committed to strengthening strategic interconnections between nutrition and climate and environment. We are advancing the work of the Initiative on Climate Action and Nutrition, the ICANN, launched at COP27, and we advocated jointly for healthy diets from sustainable food systems for nurturing people and planet at COP28. To amplify the collective voice across agencies working in nutrition and facilitate access to knowledge resources, in 2023, the nutrition website went live and the knowledge hub was launched with more than 300 key publications and 50 nutrition-related tools for policy and programming support. Despite many achievements of note, our joint work continues. Some priorities include promoting healthy diet from sustainable food systems on fragile and conflict-affected states, promoting good governance for nutrition at all levels, fostering conflict of interest, free private sector engagement for more impactful nutritional results, among others. Moving forward, UN Nutrition will advocate for these issues and seize opportunities for great, greater joint impact, including capitalizing on the opportunities offered by the scaling up nutrition, Sun Movement Global Gathering in 2024, as well as the Nutrition for Growth Summit in Paris in 2025. The end of the United Nations Decade of Action on Nutrition, 2016-2025, and the deadline for achieving the global nutrition targets adopted by the 2012 World Health Assembly are also fast approaching. UN Nutrition stand ready to facilitate dialogue on the extension of both the decade and the nutrition targets, 
aligning them with the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. It is imperative to bring nutrition action and investment to scale, leaving no one behind. Only then we will be able to end malnutrition in all its forms and achieve sustainable development. I thank you.